Hi guys, Angela Rayner has been cleared of any wrongdoing in what will come as a shock to nobody. Well, nobody except Tory ministers, MPs and right-wing rags that have been trying to milk this story for all it's worth. A number of Conservative politicians had been constantly hounding the Labour deputy leader, demanding that she answer questions to them about the sale of a house. She said that she would cooperate with any investigation and it has come to nothing. I had said at the time that this is the Tories trying to find dirt where there isn't in order to distract from their own failings. They wasted police time filing spurious claims against the Labour MP, which could be a crime. Are they willing to apologise to her? What do you think? Um, HMRC, Greater Manchester Police and Stockport Council have all said they're not going to take any further action against allegations about the sale of Angela Rayner's former council house. Would you like to take this opportunity to apologise directly to her on behalf of the Conservative Party? No, I mean, the, the investigations happened and, and the correct authorities, not the government, the correct authorities have made their judgement and, you know, I've got nothing else to add. Well, you had quite a lot to add before, didn't you? Well, it, to be fair to um, Angela Rayner, she could have put an end to a lot of speculation if she had been very public and honest with what had happened, rather than allowing the whole thing to drag on and then requiring the police and other place, other uh, organisations to investigate. She could have put an end to this much earlier. But look, we are where we are now. Uh, they've said that there's no case to answer, as far as I understand. Uh, and, you know, we're going to move on. What, so it's her fault then? Well, I said that if, if there's speculation running for a long time, it could have been put to bed if she'd been very public about, uh, about the allegations that were put to her. She wasn't, fine. It dragged on for a long time and now uh, the, the police has made their judgment. I mean, I don't think there's anything else to add. OK, thank you very much indeed. What an absolute charlatan. The, this guy and others were hounding her about this and she played a blinder. She didn't take the bait. She, they're angry that she didn't take the bait. They're saying, well, you know, it's her fault because she didn't take our bait. The Conservative Party's bait and the right-wing media's bait. She played a blinder, along with Keir Starmer. Kudos to both of them. Starmer said, I trust Angela Rayner. I don't need to see her documentation. I trust her. And, of course, the Conservative Party and the right-wing media piled on Starmer, saying, oh, why don't you want to see it? Isn't it important that your deputy leader has everything above board? And he said, yeah, I trust her. I don't need to see her paperwork. <laughs> and then Angela Rayner, you know, said, I will cooperate with any investigation. And she did exactly that. What the Tories and the right-wing media wanted was her to say, well, look, here is my documentation and hand it over to the right-wing media and the Conservative Party, so they could look for something else they could use to distract the public once again from the disaster of the last 14 years. Th this story, if you want to call it a story, about Angela Rayner's house, or second home, or whatever it was, was to distract the public. An election around the corner, let's focus on Deputy D. We can't find any dirt on Keir Starmer. Let's move on to Angela Rayner. Now we now it's failed with Angela Rayner. Let's look at, I don't know, Rachel Reeves or, or somebody else. We'll keep going through each of the shadow ministers or whatever until we find somebody with some dirt and then we can use this once again to distract the public. The right-wing media went along with it, of course, like when it came to, uh, when it was during the pandemic and Keir Starmer had a curry. The Daily Mail ran 10 front page articles every day for 10 days about Currygate trying to say look leave Boris Johnson alone Keir Starmer has done exactly the same or worse and when the, an investigation was eventually carried out a waste of police time you know the police that <laughs> it's isn't it fascinating that the conservatives keep talking about how the police should be investigating crime and <laughs> they're wasting their time with non issues especially that you know that there's nothing to see here it's disgraceful behavior it's dirty tricks and we're going to see more of them unfortunately but notice he would not apologize of course not it, it, the, it's not our fault it's angela rayner's fault why is it her fault because she didn't take our bait let me know in the comment section guys what you think as always your comments are greatly appreciated thanks a lot